The Republic of Ireland women's national team got a very deserved 1-1 draw against Italy in Larnaca today at the Cyprus Cup and we're joined by two of the stars of the performance, uh, Katie McCabe, the goal scorer, and Neve Reed burke uh, the goalkeeper. Neve, it was a busy day for you in goal. Yeah, it was. It was really busy, but um, we kind of like fared very well against them. Like, even though they were coming up our end a lot, and I was kept on my toes, we had a, as many chances, if not better chances, down our end. So I was uh, happy to be kept busy, but then happy that we got the ball up the pitch and kept it up there for some time as well. One of the best saves you produced during the game came in the 86th minute when you stopped that header and you must have been very frustrated to see the run, rebound put into the back of the net. Yeah, yeah, exactly, because uh, like when I, it was just a reaction save, so I just tried to push it out as wide as I can and for some reason she happened to be on the end line, which is very unusual and like just a loopy ball back in, so it was kind of a bit of a fluke, but, uh, and we didn't deserve it, we deserved to be maybe 1-2-0 up at that stage, so it was a bit disheartening. Yes, because you had quite a good number of chances during the game and actually had a goal that, that looked that uh, it was disallowed for offside, but it looked as though it might have been onside. Yeah, yeah, like obviously it's hard for me to see from this end, but like I didn't see anything wrong with it and it would have been a perfect goal to uh, go in because I think it was just after half time, so it would have been a great goal to go into the, the final third of the match with. Um, so it was looking then with four minutes to go that um, you were going to be consigned to yet another defeat, four yeah. defeats in, in four games and then up popped uh, your former teammate Katie yeah. McCabe. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I seen when she started going on her own I said this could be one of those ones that she just goes herself because she's so used to doing that with shells and I'm sure she's doing it with Arsenal as well so I was delighted. <laughs> what was in your mind when you when you picked up that ball from Maeve de Burka? I think I just knew we only had, I think the, the ref had just put, that was four minutes left and may have played the ball into me, I was screaming for it and she, she popped it up over my head and I just got my head down and just, as Nemo said, went down one of my runs and it worked out for us in the end. You seemed to get a little bit of a nudge just before you put it into the, the back of the net. Yeah, I got a touch when I when I cut inside and uh, I looked up and seen Denise but there was no way I was going to square it back to Denise there <laughs> so uh, I got a bottom corner and it was, uh, yeah, it was, good. It was good in the end. Your first international, senior international goal for Ireland, it must have been a very special feeling. Yeah, it took a while to come. I think uh, you mentioned earlier that was it was the 10th tenth, uh, tenth cap today. So, um, yeah, 1 in 10. Uh, let's hope I can get more on Monday. And I suppose uh, a 1-1 one, one draw like that reflected the game because that was a game that you didn't really deserve to lose. No, I was, obviously I was watching from the sideline for the, the first 70 minutes and the girls were giving it their all, uh, as they always do. And it was frustrating, obviously, as we mentioned earlier, that uh, the offside goal and stuff. But we kept looking at it, and as as it worked out in the end, then we we got the deserving draw. Yeah. For me, I, I think yeah. it's nearly like an unfair result on us for it to finish one all. Like, especially even against City, you'd expect them to be nearly come out on top. But like, I think we were the better team on the day, and we should have gone in three one up at that stage. Obviously, it's a great confidence lift for the squad and uh, just the sort of thing you need going into the last game in the group on uh, Monday against Hungary. Yeah, definitely. We've, we've two days off now, so we're going to regroup and get together as a team and obviously have a look at our last two performances uh, against Austria and Italy and analyse that and go into Hungary and look, be looking for nothing but three points and then see where that takes us then on the Wednesday um, for the last game. So, yeah, we're all looking forward to it.